516 now turning to the forecast. Another cold day ahead, but some relief yeah. possibly in sight, Matthew, possibly. Possibly, possibly. maybe <laughs> just a little bit. We could actually even see maybe close to 50 degrees early next week. But we got to get to another cold day today and at least the first half of the weekend as well. Outside right now, it's clear, it's quiet. We're overlooking the Franklin Institute on a Friday morning that will have a wonderful sunrise once again, just like we had yesterday, but also a little bit like our Thursday. It's going to be that misleading sunshine. We're going to see temperatures here through the morning that are hovering in the 20s and teens. Even though we don't have the strong winds, still going to be a day where you need to bundle up to say the least. So show you storm scan as well. Not a whole lot really going on across the area here this morning. A few maybe high clouds trying to slowly work their way through, but it's a clear start to the day and really through the overnight hours with those clear skies that has allowed our temperatures to really fall off. You see a little bit of moisture trying to work its way into those far northern sections of the state towards I-80. There may be a couple of flurries this morning in areas like the Poconos, but that's really all you're going to see when it comes to uh, precipitation really for the next couple of days. It's going to be dry. It's going to be sunny. And again, our temperatures are slowly going to rise. Our seven day forecast will give you those temperatures that are in the 30s today with sun filled skies. Then on Saturday, we climb up to just about 40 degrees. First day of winter is going to be very winter like. And then we got the birds, of course, on Sunday, 46 degrees there. And then Chandler, look at early next week. There are those 50s on Monday and Christmas Eve, too. There you go.